Kitty's burning, tormented face with a strand of hair stuck to her sweaty forehead was turned to him and sought his eyes. Her raised hands asked for his. Seizing his hands in her sweaty hands, she started pressing them to her face. <laughs> don't leave, don't leave. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. She spoke quickly. <laughs> Mama, take my earrings, they bother me. You're not afraid. Oh, God, soon, Elizabeth Petrovna, soon. She spoke quickly, quickly and tried to smile. But suddenly her face became distorted and she pushed him away from her. No, it's terrible. I'll die, I'll die. Go, go. She cried and again came that scream that was unlike anything in the world. <laughs> Levin clutched his head and ran out of the room. <laughs> he knew that all was now lost. Leaning his head against the doorpost, he stood in the next room and heard a shrieking and howling such as he had never heard before. And he knew that these cries were coming from what once had been Kitty. <laughs> he had long ceased wishing for the child. He now hated this child. He did not even wish for her to live now. He only wished for an end to this terrible suffering.